What's up? I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame with Joyzoo. What's up, guys? How are you? <laughs> Carson and Quinton, how did you guys come together as this duo that uh, puts out electronic music? Uh, it's been a long time in the works. We've, okay. we've been doing music together for basically forever, but uh, we started Joyzoo like a little bit over a year ago. And okay. So, yeah, but before that, you know, we had some different names and stuff like that. So we've always been doing stuff together. Started. Yeah, so it was love at first sight then? Basically. We were best friends, met in sixth grade. I made fun of his shoes. He was wearing Pumas when they weren't cool. <laughs> and then we started throwing parties in, in high school, and we were DJing all throughout our little suburban town. And now we're playing some of the biggest nightclubs all over. Yeah. So, so you guys are Sacramento born and raised. Yep. And you guys have performances coming up in Chico, SF. Um, where? What are some other spots you guys have? Uh, Chicago. Going oh, to okay. Chicago. Uh, a lot of other stuff. San Francisco. All over California in the works. Some that we can't announce yet. Some that... You know, is it just still like in the plans, but yeah. we're just trying to get worldwide really. It started here and we're trying to branch out everywhere. So Okay, yeah. cool. And now I heard that uh, you guys have a little bit of story about something that happened in Mexico with our own party god Tony. <laughs> Tony, come here. <laughs> come on, Tony. You, you gotta get I can't fit in the shot. You can. <laughs> he can, can fit. Can. <laughs> we'll scooch, we'll scooch. Yeah. You gotta be here for story time with Tony. Story well, time with Tony. How we met with <laughs> How we met Tony was just through mutual friends. Oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna get in this. I think everybody knows Tony. This guy's like an icon of Sacramento. Oh these man, days. he's no. probably bigger than us here. <laughs> um, we met him through getting booked in Sacramento. We got booked in Mexico. We were playing with Zed's dad and Little Yachty. Spring Break Mexico, where all the college kids goes to get get too drunk for their own yeah. good. Same with us. Uh, Tony doesn't drink that much, but he drank. Yeah. Boy, did he drink. Like, yeah. That was like a two-year break. And then Robbie hit me, and he was like, yo, I'm going to go take photos. I was like, for sure. Like, you always do that. And he's like, no, I'm going to Mexico. You guys want to go? I was like, yeah, my shit just cleared up. Like, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Like, you know, so. so we had a penthouse suite in Mexico. Uh, they hooked us up. We, Which is not that big of a thing. No. Nah, like, it, so every day. Every and day. Then, uh, we, penthouse is on the regular, right? No, well, we've never experienced that until then, too. And then we got to play in front of 3,000 crazy college kids. and Yeah, spring break, right? Yes, yeah, spring break. Yeah. And we'll be back there next year. Best hopefully. times you uh, never remember, right? Uh, yeah. It was yeah. probably the most wild. Remember. That was the crazy story. Time. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. I definitely remember parts of it. It was like a gray out. Like one of those things. I'm like, okay, yeah. We like when you start talking about it, you remember it. But then when, yeah, when you're yeah. trying to remember the details, they're not. Yeah. It was his first time partying with Joy Zoo. That's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't hang. I won't do it again. He was <laughs> first time and the last. Right? All right, get out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, except uh, we will all be partying together on Hot Day. We will. Day, uh, 9 6. 16, you guys. How do you do so that with your hands? two weeks from now on Saturday, you better be there. We all have a wristband, so uh, look down if you don't have yours. You better go online and get it. Um, so your music, you guys, I really love your flow. It's very like melodic and a lot of, um, you know, like you have a lot of female features on mm -hmm. there. How do you guys kind of pick who you want to feature um, with your music? Uh, right now, it's kind of like whoever we can, like, I guess, get with. I mean, we okay. we don't have like requirements, really. Like if you're like a good singer and you're like on the rise, we really enjoy working with people who are like on the same level as us and they're trying to grow and like get in front of new people and like you know, that's like our the perfect singer we can find, someone who's got talent and they're like on our That level. can write as well too. Well, we've yeah. also okay. had like our hair miss with like, not so great, that like yeah. hit us up like on the daily, like let us sing on a song and we're like, have to be Simon Beyonce. Cowell from American <laughs> Idol and we're like, no, this is, this is not good. <laughs> but that's, that's music. I mean, we're gonna put stuff out that we love and that we think will do well. And yeah. luckily we've, the few vocalist artists that we work with and the ones that we're working with now are just, Awesome, very talented people. Yeah. So cool. Well, so for all you top-notch vocalists out there, uh, hit, hit us them up. up. <laughs> slide in the, slide in the yeah. DMs. We need them. <laughs> and the best way to connect with you guys is on Spotify and Twitter, right? Yeah, yeah. Spotify okay. is like our main like music outreach. If you want to look us up, just Joyzu. And then like if you want to actually like talk to us, which we're very vocal and uh, always wanting to reply to people, it's like Twitter, or Facebook, all that yeah. good stuff. Well, and that's awesome because you know you guys are building community. You're mm -hmm. tapping into those fans and letting them know that like just like they're showing love for you, yeah. you're giving it back to yeah, them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of collaborations, I know you guys have a lot of new stuff in the works that you guys are coming out with. You yes. want to give us a little bit of a sneak peek on that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we might be coming out with a remix on Monday. We're still. Uh, okay. It'll be like 
kind of a surprise. I mean, by the time this probably comes out, it'll already be out. All right. Well, so first on <laughs> Fade by the Flame. <laughs> yeah, we we're always pushing content. We're like trying to release music every month. If it's a remix, if it's original, mm -hmm. um, we're signed to a label, so it's kind of hard to like push music really quickly if we don't like original music. So yeah. we have to go through them, and it takes a little bit with paperwork, but. We're sitting on a lot of music and we're just ready for everybody here. Speaking of parties, um, we have Hop Day coming up, which you guys are going to be performing at. Um, mm -hmm. And it's a party so big that they call it a festival. Yeah. What are you guys most looking forward to about performing or just the day in general? I'm looking forward to like such the different genre of like music there. Like it's, I think it's really hip hop and rap oriented and we're an electronic group, but we mm -hmm. love hip hop and rap. And like we're definitely going to incorporate a lot more of that into our set because like that's basically the music we grew up on like yeah. and that we're really into that is completely different than from our style but if you ever see our show we incorporate a lot of hip-hop and rap but i think half day is a spot where we can really like push that more and yeah, yeah. i mean we've been and also like hippie sabotage we're stoked about mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah shout that out hippie <laughs> sack born we're sack born too hook us up let's go let's get, <laughs> get us on tour with you <laughs> 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 well, it's really cool to see um, Hoff Day evolving, you know, like you said, primarily from hip hop to now kind of featuring some electronic artists as well. Mm, yeah. um, speaking of parties, I had a couple of personal questions for you guys because you guys sure. seem like you like to party. So <laughs> we when dabble. is the last time that you guys had Taco Bell sober? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe when I was in the, maybe like high school or middle school, yeah. my parents would get it. Okay. Once I had a car, once I had Quint, a car, it was never so Yeah, yeah. Quinn's parents, all, that's, we also always used to go over to Quinn's house to like party when we were younger and drink, uh -huh. but they didn't know. They didn't know, they had yeah. a huge house, arcade, <laughs> movie theater. We won't go yeah. into detail. Just like in the bathroom, pouring it in but, the mouthwash. Yeah, you know, oh, like. yeah. We, we used to put, like take a string and throw it off the second story yeah, and, yeah. and pull up this, <laughs> this Smirnoff bottle. Yeah, like a bottle. So, a of Smirnoff, like, <laughs> we were like 16. Yeah. But his mom would always have Taco Bell. She'd be like, what do you yeah. guys want? We'd be like, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah. Like, the Taco, Taco family Bell. pack, yeah, right? Just <laughs> it's probably the last time. But we probably weren't sober, so I can't answer yeah. that question. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had Taco Bell sober, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sober right now. Well, shout out to Taco Bell for saving lives. <laughs> so, uh, since you guys said that you can uh, handle and kick back that liquor, what is your favorite poison? Don't watch this, mom. Uh, yeah. Tito's vodka. Bleep this out. <laughs> Tito's vodka, and if we're going liquor, and for me, probably Tito's is a liquor. That's what I said. Okay, Tito's, okay. if we're going with liquor or uh, Lagunitas, probably for beer. Yeah. Okay. Two we like. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever mixed? Done a mixture? We we on our like whenever we play shows, we get like. Grey Goose Red Bull or Vodka Red Bull, whatever mm -hmm. they have. And I mean, we don't like, we don't like to necessarily drink at our shows like heavily. Like we usually have like maybe a drink before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's better. <laughs> There's better. Uh, okay. There's been a few. <laughs> District 30 is different. Sources say uh, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a few where we definitely go hard, but we try not to be the DJs that we try not to be the DJs that are just drinking while they're performing. Because it, okay. it's like, what are you doing? Are you not playing? Yeah. Are you not working, reading like, the crowd? Weird. Like, I think that's a joke of dance music and electronic music is the yeah. DJs that drink on stage, and we try not to do that. But yeah, we definitely have a few drinks before the show. So you guys more of a pre gamers then. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You got to Yeah, you got to You got to break the nerves with like a drink or two. Yeah. Well, speaking of performances, what is the feeling? that you get right before you go on like are you nervous are you excited like what you know give us a play-by-play -play of like right before you guys go on you have drink in hand you guys are you know <laughs> pat each other on the back right <laughs> uh we used to do a pre-show poop yeah. oh okay <laughs> you know, one last bathroom run and because uh, you don't want to be on stage and i don't know you know yeah have, have something else well. drop than uh, a beat right i, I usually like <laughs> i kind of seclude myself i like i get i don't really talk that much like I talk a lot in general, but like before the show, like 20 minutes before I kind of seclude myself. Like a lot of my friends, like if you've talked to them that come to shows with me, they're like, yeah, don't, don't talk with him before he's playing. Cause like, I'll just like be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'll just, <laughs> just seclude myself. Cause I am, I'm not like nervous, but I'm just like trying to prepare what's about to go down that yeah. we're about to like make this club of like 500 people be like into what we're doing and dance to what we're doing. So yeah. it's like kind of like a lot to take in when yeah. you like think about what you're actually doing. Now, um, is there anybody like, in the world that you would want to do a collaboration with without any like uh any restrictions Porter. anyone ever yeah. anyone ever dead or alive yeah. Porter robinson is like someone current who's like just running the scene and taking it into new directions but we're like branching out of edm i don't know like i'd love to meet michael jackson 
He's That'd dead. I know. I just had his uh, past birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Chance the Rapper would be sweet. Like someone just like completely in like hip hop scene that we could like totally like challenge our our sound and our yeah. music like to work with like a big like rapper or like something like that. Well, yeah. shout out Chance and Porter. Hope you're watching this because these guys are great. Collab. You guys should clap. <laughs> <laughs> collab, yeah. All right. Well, before I let you guys go, um, I just had one final question. Sure. What is your best party memory besides uh, the dirty that happened down in Mexico? Probably snow globe. Okay. Uh, we like our like when we first started Joy Zoo, like we were at snow globe when we like started the name and uh, they were like, what, do you, what is your goal here? One of our friends asked like what our goal was, was to play snow globe. And a year later we did. And we had a cabin full of like 30 of our best friends. Oh, cool. And we just, I mean, yeah, it was a lot of work for us. We were like doing a lot of interviews oh, yeah. like this, but like when we got back, like it was all of our good friends yeah. coming to support us. And like we were just partying all night and for like yeah. three days straight. And then at our show, we had like over a thousand people show up to like right as the doors open to see yeah, us like play. Like our biggest festival set. debut. So it was like yeah. really like surreal to like yeah. it was a lot one of fun. our dreams come reality. Yeah, well. And after our set, I mean like we just, we were still there for both days because we were okay. only one day. So we just like, we were there just at the festival for the next two days. And Odessa closed out, closed out New Year's and like that was amazing. So. Yeah. That's the perk of being a time. musician then, huh? Getting to play and work hard at the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, weird. Party hard wise? No, was that, was no that the sleep. real question you wanted? Yeah, you wanted yeah. Like, How party. hard do you guys party? That's that's the uh, real question I'm asking. Oh, yeah. God. I mean, I definitely <laughs> Mexico is like up there on like us and like Joy Z wise, party hard. I mean, Santa Barbara, yeah. like uh, any fraternity that we play a lot of fraternities, like okay. San Diego State, Cal Poly, like Cal Poly is crazy. They yeah. always, <laughs> we, we played there every time the cops came and just popped way too many champagne bottles and yeah. way too many <laughs> underage fun. girls probably drinking and guys. I mean, I should just say that. Chico yeah. was crazy. We were just in Chico. They're nuts. I yeah. drank way too Burnett's vodka, which tastes like Windex. <laughs> well, college life, every, right? Every show we play is a party if we want it to be. And then yeah, most yeah. of the time we do because we're young and we like to have fun. Yeah, well, so. I mean, I know uh, myself and all the fans included, we're excited that you're popping bottles and putting out new tracks. And <laughs> we're looking forward to seeing all the stuff that comes as well as you guys performing at Hoff Day. So, um, show up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> at 916, you guys. Be there. Um, well, again, Carson Quinn, thank you so much for being on Fame by the Flame. Yeah. Thank yeah. <laughs> um, until next time, this is Noelle at Noelle's Notions with Fame by the Flame and Joy Zoo. Thank you. Bye.